Hey guys, how's it doing? It is me, Big Lemon, back for another tech review video. So, today I'm going to be reviewing the Razer Deathstalker Expert Edition keyboard. So, this keyboard also has the Essential Edition, and that includes non backlit keys, but the Expert Edition, what I have here, does include backlit keys. So right now it's not plugged in, but I'll show you guys later in the video once it's plugged in and show you the backlit keys. So this keyboard is a chiclet style rather than mechanical. So what a chiclet style keyboard is, is that the keys are flat like a netbook or a laptop. Mechanical keys are like really big and chunky, so some gamers prefer a chiclet and some gamers prefer mechanical. The plus about chiclet style keys is that uh, since they're smaller, not as big, like it's easier to type faster. So if you are using this for typing, not just gaming, that's also good. So this keyboard also does feature a full, full numerical keyboard. So that's like, you have extra numbers here, like a plus button, an equals button. Another great feature about this that it includes Razer Synapse 2.0. So the Razer Synapse 2.0 is a software provided by Razer that you can uh, edit the keyboard and, all, all, and do all sorts of cool stuff. So all the keys are full macro. So what macro is, is that you can assign a key to another key, if that makes sense. So for example, if I was playing a game where to do, let's say do a tax in one, I have to do Shift, Alt, D. So I can use that Razer Synapse software to, let's say, assign Shift-Alt-D to the key T, or G. So you can do this throughout the software, or you can use another cool feature called On-The-Fly Macro. So to enable On-The-Fly Macro, you hit Control and F9. So then this light right here will start to... The light up, or just light up one color. Then you enter in all the keys you want. So let's say I enter in Shift Alt D. Then you press Control F9 again. Then that thing will start to light, meaning what key do you want to assign that to. So if I want to assign it to the key J, I hit J and the light would go away and then that key would be assigned. So there's another cool thing called gaming mode. So when you need when you enable gaming mode, that light right there lights up. To enable gaming mode, you hit control F10. What gaming mode does is that it disables the Windows key so you won't accidentally exit out of the game and disables all control alt delete, which will make you exit the game again. And it also enables 10 key anti-ghosting. So normally when the keyboard's not anti-gaming, I mean when it's not in gaming mode, it only has six key anti-ghosting. So if you don't know what anti-ghosting is, it's this. So normally, if you like try to press all the keys on a keyboard at once, some of them will not show as pressed because the other keys are like taking up the circuits inside of the keyboard. So six key anti-ghosting means that I can press six keys and they'll all work. But if I do let's say like ten keys, they will not work. So you technically do not need full keyboard anti-ghosting, which means you can press every key and it'll work because you only have 10 fingers. You don't need 11 key anti-finger ghosting if you only have like 10 keys. So another cool feature is this kind of pad right here. So normal, so if you're a gaming, so let's say you have your keys on the WASD, you have like a nice palm rest for your hands, which would be very helpful. So you also have, and it's also anti-swap resistant, but then you also have your media keys up here. So you have mute, sound down, sound up, reverse, pause and play, fast forward. So next I'm going to show you uh, the lighting up action and the other cool features on this. So hey guys, so this is the keyboard when it's plug in, plugged in. As you see, it's a nice green backlit style. So next I'm going to show you how to do enable gaming mode. So right now, gaming mode is disabled. As you can see, that little like uh, crosshair, has does not, the light is dead over it. So if you can see my desktop, if I press the Windows key here, it will go to the start screen, because right, that's the start key. 
so I can refresh as many times as I want, it'll be enabled. So I'm going to enable gaming mode by hitting FN, F10, that light goes up, signifying it's in gaming mode. So sorry, earlier I said it's control and F10, but it's actually FN and F10. So when that light goes on, that means if you press the Windows key, it will still stay on your, it won't work, it'll still stay on your uh, game or whatever you're doing. And the uh, gaming key also, the gaming mode also uh, enables 10 key anti ghosting. So to disable it, you hit FN, F10, the light goes off. I can go hit the window as many times as I want. So next, I'm going to show you how to do macro editing. So if, let's say on the fly, let's call it on the fly macro editing. So you can also do it through the software, but I'm going to show you how to do it on the fly. So let's say you want to assign the key pattern Shift C and D to the key P. So to do this, you have to enable on the fly macro editing. So you hit FN and F9. Then that key lights up. So then you want to enter in the uh, key pattern you want. So let's say Shift D F. So after you enter that in, you hit FN and F9 again that thing starts to blink and now you have to select what key you want to assign that keystroke pattern to. So let's say we're going to assign it to P. You hit P, then you hit F9, I mean FN and F9 again. I'll just hit didn't work. I, uh, sorry, I didn't hit it. So yeah, F9, FN again. And then that light goes away, seeing the fun that you're done. So that means that new key pattern should work in the game you're playing. So this is an up close view of the chiclet style keyboards. Backlit. So these keys compared to netbook style keys do require more of a firm press. So you have to press it more, it requires more pressure to activate instead of like a notebook netbook. So this is not I would not recommend this keyboard if you are like a journalist or something and need to like type lots of things quickly because these keys require more pressing, require more pressure to press, as you can hear from the clicking sounds they make. So I recommend this keyboard to gamers so that, uh, who also need to type because this keyboard is easier to type on, let's say a mechanical style keyboard. So I do recommend this for gamers who let's say just recommends flatter style keys I think everything about this keyboard is good except the only con is that you can have to press it hard but I think that's actually good in some standards because when gaming you usually if you're doing a first person shooter you always have your can hands over the WASD and you don't want to accidentally press it so some people may dislike the extra pressure you need, but some people like it. I personally like it because then I don't accidentally uh, like hit the G key, that's the grenade key when it's too early. So some people can like this, some people don't, but yeah. So that concludes uh, this review. So remember to like, comment, subscribe, subscribe and share. And bye.